Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Gabe asks whether or not we should be replacing graphing calculators with iPhones. While this might happen someday, it's actually a little rather surprising that like a TI-85, TI-81, TI... I don't remember which model, but those are very optimized for the types of calculations that they do. And so they're actually a lot faster than doing them in quote unquote emulation on one of the iPhones. So I have an old uh, HP reverse Polish notation graphing calculator and it was blazing fast for plotting things in even three dimensions. And doing the emulator on a three gigahertz Pentium computer was a lot slower. And you have to think about how much power a computer has versus an iPhone has. So it's possible that we may get to a point where people are like, yes, you know, I just bought a $200 phone instead of a $300 calculator. But I think we're a ways away from it. Um, I've also never seen the programming languages available on an iPhone or Android device that lets you write the code on the device. Like I used to write programs on the calculator and then run them. So I think we're a little ways away from the iPhone replacing graphing calculators. Um, I know that's what everybody wants, but it's probably more likely that what we'll see is because you don't use your graphing calculator 20 hours a day or eight hours a day or probably more than two hours a day, um, we'll probably see graphing calculator apps live up in the cloud because it would make a lot of sense that you'd have an app on the iPhone that what it did was talk to a very fast computer up in the cloud that could run that as more or less a web application. Um, I also think that might be useful because schools could turn Wi-Fi or internet access on and off. Now they can't turn off the 3G portions without doing like a cell phone blocker or something like that. But I do think that it'll be quite a while before we actually see iPhones or Android devices with enough power to emulate what Texas Instruments and HP have done with their graphing calculators in the past.